The 2023 Local Government Cooperation Award goes to Lake County for their Tax Certificate Cooperation Project. The goal of the project was to obtain a solution for the tax sale delinquent parcels that go up for sale year after year without a sale to any party. The project involved a comprehensive study of tax sale parcels that uh, were offered at tax sale but were never actually purchased uh, and therefore never be, uh, became taxable parcels. And the study involved trying to determine why those parcels uh, didn't, didn't achieve uh, uh, that goal and, and then why others did. And you know, working together with uh, IU Northwest as well as all the communities uh, in Lake County, all the municipalities to try and you know, help them solve this problem for the benefit of uh, the tax base in each of their communities and, and the county as a whole. Lake County knew they would need a lot of data to be able to get a workable solution. The county worked on developing a partnership with Indiana University Northwest to help find some answers. IUN uh, has been a, uh, a, a partner of county government here in Lake County for quite a few years and have done other projects uh, to help us along in other, in other areas. Uh, and so we had familiarity with their ability and um, with the help of uh, with the help of Attorney John Dahl, he uh, you know reached out and asked them uh, to see if they could help us, you know, get at the bottom of, of this problem. They're really a crown jewel of of, our, of a growing partnership and collaboration. I, I think um, what we have done with, with uh, Lake County is is really epitomizes the purpose and mission. Uh, in large part for regional public universities, right? Uh, we have great academic programs, we have great faculty, we have great staff, we have great students, but how does that connect with community, our regional communities? Um, and this is the perfect example of taking the interests of students and faculty and, and the work of support staff to actually ta tackle a real life problem within our communities, right? The partnership between local government and the university provided a learning opportunity for the students, as well as gaining real world experience. The students put in over 900 hours of work on the data. This was very beneficial for Lake County to have this information. The work would not have been possible without our students, right? So we had a team that worked extremely hard. I know there was, a, um, I think, 900 hours was quoted, but of course it was it was definitely more than the 900 um, hours. But they were diligent in um, entering the data, cleaning the data, and those jobs are not fun jobs, right? But along the way, they acquired a tremendous set of skills, not only in terms of data analysis, but they got to meet with county officials. Um, they worked closely with John and the commissioners, um, reporting out on their results. They had those positive experiences, and they grew um, in their disciplines. The collaboration for this project went beyond just working with IU Northwest, but also throughout local government. The surveyor's office assisted with this project, and many communities throughout the county benefited from this group effort. In Lake County, the uh, GIS uh, department is housed within the surveyor's office, so all the online mapping is done through our office. So the commissioners reached out uh, to collaborate with us to uh, kind of take some of these properties and get them mapped uh, to better analyze them. With our GIS experts to kind of analyze uh, the property locations, um, they get a map for a good visual uh, for them. And, uh, Attorney John Dole spent a lot of time in our office too going over those, uh, those maps. The partnerships between the local governments and the university helped provide the information that was needed to be able to deliver solutions. And they were able to impact legislation. A bill was passed, Senate Bill 157 was passed. Um, Senator Niemeyer and uh, Durnell were the sponsors on that Senate side and um, Hal Slager on the, on the House of Representatives side. And the bill was passed, which 
streamlined the process, made it more more efficient and should eliminate, I'm not going to say it's going to eliminate the Turner problem, but should certainly move some of those properties through the system in a much more efficient way. Lake County worked together with IU Northwest to find a resolution to not only solve the issue of Turner's, but created a solution more beneficial to economic development for the area. The residents of Lake County are going to benefit because these parcels, uh, ultimately, first of all, there are a bunch of parcels that are underperforming, right? They're not, they're not generating the tax revenue that, that they are uh, supposed to. And therefore, all the other parcels need to collect more. That's, that's number one. Number two, though, is that we have, like I said, a responsibility to collect the taxes. And so if we're continually having to advertise the churners and make those churners a part of the sale and make those churners uh, you know, advertise them and, and go through. It's costing us, literally costing us cash just to put on the sale. So it's not good for anybody really. And, and so that's why it's a benefit to all the taxpayers of Lake County to see that these uh, parcels get, get uh, like I said, put in a better uh, taxable situation. To learn more about Lake County, please visit their website, 